assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we are going to discuss about potassium channel blockers they are also known as class 3 anti arrhythmics the prototype of this group is amiodron and other drugs are included dronidron bletilium sotalol ibutylite and dofetilite potassium channel blockers are actually working on the action potential let's uh, have its mechanism of action potassium channel blockers block potassium channel blocking the potassium channel in phase 3 of the action potential slows the efflux of potassium back out of the myocytes in the cardiac thereby delayed repolarization okay in this scenario this increases the refractory period of atrial ventricular and Purkinje cells this also increases the QT interval in the ECG. The MIR drawn contains multiple antiarrhythmic properties and is an sodium channel blocker, potassium channel blocker, calcium channel blocker, and beta blocker are rolled into one chemical. However, it is primarily classified or referred to as class 3 antiarrhythmic drug. Now, let's discuss about pharmacokinetics. MIR drawn has a half life of 25 to 60 days, it has a longer half life. So the dose and the adjustments could be correlated here. This drug, amiodron and dronidron are metabolized by the liver and are inhibitors of the CYP34A. This is important because other drugs used in the control of dysmythmias including verapamil and diltiazem are also metabolized by CYP34A, 3A4. There are certain indications for class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs particularly this uh, amiodron and dronidron etc. The FDA approved indication for amiodron are recurrent ventricular fibrillation also known as VF and recurrent hemodynamically unstable ventricular tachycardia. These are the specific FDA approved indication. Now let's discuss about side effects. They are cardiac, bradycardia, heart block, hypotension, and inner cardiac, pulmonary fibrosis, that is interstitial lung disease, thyroid dysfunction, hyperfunction or hypofunction, both may be occur, blue skin, nausea and constipation, anorexia, loss of appetite. Liver damage also shown and increased liver enzymes in the blood. Now let's have this contraindication. The cardiogenic shock, severe sinus node dysfunction causing marked sinus bradycardia and the second or third degree atrioventricular blockage. This is all about basics of class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs. So keep subscribed pharmacology notes. Thank you.